Hey everyone, Queso Man Rules here. Today's video tutorial is on an alternative to iTunes. iTunes is an excellent media player for all your audio files, but it does have a little bit left to be desired for the Windows port. While it runs excellent on the Mac operating system, on Windows it's a little bit slow and can be considered bloatware. Uh, the alternative we're going to be looking at today is called FooBar 2000, and it has absolutely every functionality of iTunes with the exception of the iTunes Store. Um, this is the interface right here, as you can see it's very simple. Um, it's just got your music and a list here, you can also create multiple playlists and stuff like that right up there, but this is just my library playlist, all my music right here. And um, it's very simple and very easy to use, you know, it's just pretty much straightforward. It's got, you know, volume, when you start a song you can drag it right there, random play, all that stuff. It's just very simple for playing music. The thing is, though, it has huge possibilities for add-ons, and there are a bunch of add-ons out there. Add-ons that allow you to sync your iPod, for example, which gives you that functionality back. So you can literally use this without using iTunes, and it uses a lot less resources than iTunes, and it's much quicker to start up and use. And um, another thing that's very nice um, that I've noticed for this that I found is a shell extension for Windows 7. It's an add-on. As you can see, it pops up right here, and you have play, stop, forward, and back um, buttons right down here, which allow you to actually control it, instead of having to actually open up the window for the application. It also shows the album artwork, if there is any right there. So that's very, very nice. So I'm going to show you guys how to get FooBar today, um, how to add your music to it, and then how to get this Windows 7 shell extension if you want it. Um, I'll also include a link in the sidebar for the tutorial, it's a text tutorial on the internet of how to sync your iPod with FooBar. I'm not going to be doing uh, that in this tutorial, it might be in a future tutorial, but I actually don't have an iPod to use right now for that. So if you want to download FooBar, uh, go ahead and go to foobar2000.org and just click on the download tab right here. The link will be in the description as well. Go ahead and click download and you can begin downloading it. It's very simple and easy. So once you've downloaded it, you can go ahead and open up where you saved it and double click the installer. Just click next, click I agree. It also has a portable uh, version for your flash drive if you want to use it. It's very nice. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do the standard. Choose where you want to install it to. Choose any other optional features such as um, album art, you know, all that stuff generally uh, clicked by default. So um, just make sure you got everything set there the way you want it. I don't want to click, click launch or desktop icons right now. Click next. Choose your start uh, menu folder click install. I've already installed it obviously so I'm not going to do that. And you can just wait for it to finish and you're all set. You've got it right here. Now once you've got it, you just go to file right here and add folder. If you want to add your iTunes music, it's very simple. You just go to where your iTunes music is located. Probably in your My Music section. Go to iTunes and then iTunes music and click select folder. I don't want to do that right now so I'm going to abort that because I've already added all of them. But um, you can go ahead and do that and then if you want to create another playlist, you know, this is just like the library, you can add those and then add songs from there. You can also um, drag and drop them, I believe, into the playlist. Yeah, you can do that. So that's pretty easy to do. So it's a very nice interface, very simple and very useful. Um, the add-ons are also incredibly easy to install if you just go to the program file folder for the application, which is under program files and foobar2000, go to components, and you can drop add-on DLLs. As you can see, I've already added the Windows 7 shell extension DLL. So, um, it, now if you want to get this shell extension for Windows 7, if you have it, it obviously will not work on other operating systems. You can go ahead and download it from this right here, wintense.com, under the plugin section. The link for this will also be in the description. Go ahead and download the DLL right there by just clicking that and the download will begin. After you have downloaded it, you can go ahead and extract it from here using either the extract all feature built into Windows or if you have something separate like 7-zip, I'm just going to extract it here. As you can see, there's a DLL. All you need to do is cut and paste that into the components folder in the programs folder and you're all set. Just restart the program and you're ready to go and you'll have these options down here. It's really easy, very easy to use, and it's an awesome program. Um, the way that you do the iTunes sync is exactly the same, it's just it's got its own set of DLLs and you need to make sure you have an encoder and stuff like that, like lame. Um, 
but once you've got that, it's great. It's really useful, it has more compatibility than iTunes does, very much more light and very much more simple. There are also skins available online if you don't like the interface, but um, I'm not going to go a whole lot into that. But it's very simple and very useful and very easy to use. So this has been a tutorial, guys, on an iTunes alternative called Foobar2000. You might want to check it out, it's very nice. So thanks for watching, you guys, I really appreciate it. And make sure if you want to sync your iPod with this, check that out. Go ahead and click that link in the description for the tutorial. It's a very good tutorial, um, but I just don't have the resources available to do it right now. But look forward to it in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.